Wow, temperature's right at freezing this morning, but really comfortable with all this this gear and this cozy little tent. Oh yeah. Sun's coming up. Time to go riding. Where's me coffee? Okay, quick recap. This is the beginning of day three, day two, about 220 miles, pretty much following the Northern California backcountry discovery route. So we were west, we left off west of uh, Susanville, and here we are just on the west side of the Warner Mountains, right at the beginning of the Domingo Pass Road. So we'll pop over there. Fandango. Fandango. I'm thinking <laughs> I'm thinking of Oregon. That's That'll be days from now. Fandango Pass. And um, so the route basically followed the BDR, and it was a very... What did you think, Jenny Morgan? It was oh, real... Excellent. I mean, pe people always think that these predefined routes... So the BDR guys really do know what they're doing with, um, uh, with, with their route planning. Whoever they use as their scouts are really good, particularly in Northern California. None of it was too monotonous. It was really mixed. There were some really technical bits. If you do the red, the oh. alternative hard. If sections, you're on a big bike, stay away no, from the red. You want to be a, on a small bike like that. Commitment, commitment, baby head rocks, and straight up the hill. Yeah. It's an old rotten ranch road. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't follow the train at all. But all the but, rest of the then trails, it, goes, it went into this incredible meadow, yeah. didn't it? That like you could barely see the track across the grass. A hidden but, trail, you know. And that's the. It's that's. I was. I'm still amazed, even though I've used GPS for like 20 years. When you're following this little line, and yeah. it's exactly. It's on the ground. You just see the indentation in the ground, and you think, "Wow, somebody, you know, submitted this as a route to the GPS maps, and it, and it helps you follow and it. it works. What, what otherwise would be, you'd get totally lost." And the other trails were a real interesting mix of uh, railroad beds, real smooth yeah. old um, logging railroad beds mm -hmm. um, with that red pumicey stuff. A little bit soft, but real easy ride and smooth ride, and just and beautiful through lots, the forest. And and then lots of side detours up to. Uh, Lookouts. Fire lookouts. Yeah, so you just can just give you this amazing view. In fact, I think we must have seen Shasta. We saw Shasta at about eight thirty in the morning. I don't think we stopped looking at it all and, day until long. eight p.m. this evening. You can still see it, but if you go up on top of that hill, you can still see Shasta a hundred miles away. It's amazing. We'll yeah, finally yeah. put it on our rear view mirror. But uh, just a, a great uh, two hundred and twenty mile run through the Northern California BDR yeah. fuel stops in uh, a. Um, Adel, no, Aiden, yeah. Aiden, and or and a Beaver. really good burger, uh, burger and milkshake place in Aiden, Aiden. as well. Definitely um, hit the frosty there. The Wani, the Wani Frosty, <laughs> recommended. But, Again, you know, top top marks for whoever put together this. this but this it, it, it's amazing. But you and Bieber, you only got so far in Bieber. Yeah, How'd you get? I, I, I was just in Bieber. <laughs> And then we were just outside again. <laughs> she caught it in anyways. I knew it. <laughs> Here's some highlights. Check it out. From the road. Peek at Jenny's Kitchen here. All we do is cook us up a little coffee in the morning. So uh, what is, what's the size of that water bag there? This is two liters. So like half a U.S. gallon. Two liters and a little tiny uh, jet boil stove mm -hmm. and lighter and even your folding spoon in there. Look at that. Oh, yeah, this is like... Dave Lomax from Adventure Spec would like this. It folds up so small. There you go. It's got little tangs on it so you can eat your stew. Great. <laughs> You're a hobo stew. No, I know. We ain't eating no stew. We're just having coffee and hitting the road. Just when we thought we had it made, on the back side of the mountain, there's the snow drifts. Shoot. You did a work around the lookout and found this snow bank. But we're thinking we can do it. I was figuring we'd just walk them through here. Let's see how this goes. Oh. Yeah, tear that up good. Burn rubber on that snow. That's it. Make a nice trail for me. Brilliant. We might be home free. Or there might be another giant snowbank. But I'm thinking 
The rest of the trail is lower elevation. Hope springs eternal on the Northern California BDR. Pretty mellow trails through the uh, last in here. And when you come to these gates on public lands, just open them and then put them back in the condition you found them, i.e. closed. At the next lookout, Harvey Mountain Lookout, the last lookout we were at was Antelope Mountain, which is that snowy peak right over there. And then we traveled on down to Champs Flat down there and then across a lot of real interesting um, old logging railroad beds with a red lava rock, real smooth running, and then up into these hills here to Harvey. Look out, about 7,300 feet, panning out towards the west. Right away we could see we're getting closer to Mount Lassen right there. And... Mount Shasta right there. Next stop, Bieber, is probably another 40 or 50 miles over them hills. We'll uh, wander over those mountains. That's the Dixie Valley right down there. We'll wander through the hills just to the northwest of Dixie Valley and then head in towards Aden. Loomis Cabin Road that cuts off a bit of the BDR is nothing but a bunch of softball sized rocks back there. It was hard. Yeah. Let's see, we got eight miles more to go. Let's see. It can't be like that the whole way, can uh, it? <laughs> it? Better not be. <laughs> but yeah, this is not a big bike route. You uh -uh. would be really, you'd really struggle over those boulders. Yep. I mean, yeah, it's just like huge marbles. Ugh. Almost baby head size, a lot of them. Yeah. Kind of a lost trail through this little section here. Very cool. Head up into these hills. One more lookout today, Manzanita lookout, looking out to the west. There is still Mount Shasta, so we're finally a beam Mount Shasta. But more importantly, here is the end of the northern Calabac Country Discovery Route. It's going to head over these hills here, drop into that valley, Centerville Road, and head on up to Alturas, California, right there. And laid out before us, all along there, is the Warner Mountains. And those Warner Mountains stretch all the way up into Oregon. Way up there. See that drop off? So the BDR is going to uh, depart Alturas and jump up into the Warner Mountains. And it's a beautiful ride, if the snow permits, along the dirt roads um, circumnavigating the Warner Mountains. The BDR will primarily stay here on the west side of them. And of course on the other side of the Warner Mountains is Cedarville and the big um, dry lake bed and deserts of Nevada and eastern Oregon. Looking to the south we got uh, Mount Lassen almost in our re rear view mirrors now and we can see the other two lookouts we were at earlier today, Antelope Mountain and the other one whose name I've already forgotten. But we've wound up from way over there to here. Manzanita Lookout. See how far we can get today. We'll head on into Alturas and then proceed on in, up into the Warners. Want to get up close to the Oregon border by tonight. We'll see.